Good day and thank you to Port Technology International for allowing me to speak at this event. I'm so happy to be here to talk about two things that are very close to my heart. Um, sustainability and technology. So let's dive into it from smart ports to sustainable ports. Trellebo has been a traditional marine equipment supplier for many many years. We've supplied critical solutions for demanding environments within ports and offshore. We supply marine fenders, advanced docking and mooring systems and very precise navigation and piloting tools. We all know that the global maritime industry is an industry under transformation. 90% of all global trade is seaborne and the capacity of the container vessel has increased and that, that's a big challenge for ports that are dealing with outdated port infrastructure. Uh, they're struggling to keep up with the increasing vessel sizes, the demand for quicker turnarounds and more efficiency and on top of that, we also have to take care of sustainability. That is why we some years ago in Trelleborg coined the term smart port. We wanted to help our clients, the ports and the port operators with the digital transformation that we think is needed to drive an efficient, safe, sustainable and connected port of the future. As I said, for years Trelleborg has been delivering critical assets for our customers, uh, like mooring, fendering, navigation systems. What we've done is that we have connected those. So, so we're collecting the data from these devices and sensors and assets and pulling all that data into the cloud to be processed. And the reason we're doing this is that we want to provide key insights for our customers. So these insights could be reduced operational risk, maintenance spending and optimization, or improved operational efficiency. And many of those are leading into sustainable gains for the port. With Trailboard Smart Port, the way we're doing data transformation is at sensor level with the device, we're doing data capture and direct pushing that data to the cloud where it will be stored, uh, integrated and processed. Um, we integrate with customer clouds or third-party clouds because we understand that we are not alone within this space and that our clients have many different uh, data sources that they need to draw data from. We then use our expertise and our software to do analytics on those data and provide uh, the key insights to the stakeholder through different data presentations on the desktop, on the tablet, on mobile, wherever it's needed. So how do we approach this? We do it through products and partnerships. And I'm going to talk about a bit more about the products that we have that will allow us to help our clients down this journey. So. What we're trying to do here essentially is taking all these assets, fenders, bollards, weather sensors, uh, on the keel clearance systems, tox pilots, cranes, AIS monitors, and together with third party, uh, we put all that data in th through a digital transformation to design a bespoke solution for a port that will enable you to monitor real time and forecasted weather, carry out AI-based traffic planning and monitoring, deploying virtual markers instead of physical buoys and lights, control and monitor ship movements in real time using ultra-precise PPUs, digitally manage and schedule assets like tugs, berth, pilot, launch boats, etc. As examples, here is our safe tug. This is a sensor device that provides very accurate information about what the tugs are doing. This device is placed on the tuck with a display for the tuck operator and the data is being shared for the pilots and whoever needs to see what's going on. Another example is our portable pilot units that are being carried on board the ships and will very accurately measure um, the ship's movement in real time and share that data with the Trellebor smart port. Another critical piece 
of the digitization of a modern port is getting rid of the paper forms. Traditionally, uh, the master pile exchange has been done on paper forms, and we have transformed that into a digital form. The advantages of having digital forms is that the data can easily be exchanged. So, for example, uh, the data captured on the digital form is, <clears throat> at the instant, uh, sent to the uh, billing engine of the port, which means that you could automate your billing for pilotage. Having massive amount of data just sitting in the cloud makes no sense at all. We need to visualize, extract insights, and to do that we have the Smart Port Viewer. So, all these essential assets that the ports are dealing with, we're bringing together in the Trellabor Smart Port. We're integrating with third-party cloud and sensors and systems to make sure that the port will have a coherent um, 360 solution for driving digitization and sustainability. So we have a suite of SmartPod products and solution that helps with that. So just to give some examples, um, we have automated mooring, uh, a, a vacuum-based automatic mooring system that will help with the turnaround. We have constant tension dynamo systems that will allow for automatic tensioning of the mooring lines. We have on the keel clearance systems that will measure uh, very accurately the, um, the on the keel clearance of the ship. Uh, we have smart fenders that will measure the impact of the vessel and provide you with preventive maintenance opportunities. We have ultra precise portable piloting systems uh, with software and hardware that will give you very accurate information about the ship and how it's moving. We have systems, Safe Pilot Talk, that goes on board the talk boats to give you information about what exactly is the talk doing right now and the pilots can see how much power reserve the talk had at any moment. So how do we make our smart port and also sustainable port? We're using digitization uh, to create a more sustainable port. So with the very accurate um, measurement of the ship's movement within the port, we are able to reduce uh, fuel consumptions and vessel engine emissions, and by that also improving the port efficiency. We're looking at up to 25% quicker uh, movement times within the port. We're also enhancing port safety by uh, employing smart uh, mooring equipment like the dynamo, which will provide a constant tension uh, on the mooring lines. By employing underkill clearance uh, technologies, we can maximize the cargo loads in restricted water, uh, water depths, essentially allowing the port to move more cargo. Um, and we can also, with that, reduce the cost of dredging. Many ports spend hundreds of millions of euros every year doing dredging and we can reduce that cost. So using smart fendering um, by actually measuring what is going on with the fender as the ship is hitting the fenders, we can improve the operational efficiency but we can also make sure that we reduce the berth downtime from damaged fenders. With our piloting and tuck uh, system, we can also make sure that we have a real-time view of port traffics. With that, we know with very accurate predictions, we also know that we can reduce the movement time and by that reduce engine emissions. So all in all, these systems play into a much more sustainable port and a much more connected port. That was all for now. Thank you, and if anybody has questions or want to discuss this, I'm always open for a debate about technology and sustainability. Thank you.